Hi Gemini, thank you for clicking on this video. This message is for you. This is a general message. So parts of it may or may not resonate with you. It's also timeless. So whenever you click on it and it does resonate with you, Gemini, that's when it was meant for you to have it. So we pulled your oracle card because we're going to release some toxic energy on ya. Or from ya. <laughs> so this oracle card here states not talking. Could it be that you aren't communicating your needs clearly? You need to discuss how you feel, Gemini. So there's a Gemini out here that has been keeping things inside and that has not been completely transparent with their needs and how they feel. Okay, so let's get into a message really quick for Gemini. Cards are in upright. What surrounds this message for Gemini? Let me make sure all the cards are flipped over. Hey, that's the one. So this Eight of Pentacles did come out in reverse here. So this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, maybe you or somebody else in your energy, um, their focus has been all over the place with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but also as their focus has been all over the place, they've been overly giving to a situation or situations maybe as a distraction with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It could be time, money, love, um, communication, just overly giving yourself in hopes to distract yourself. Um, under the Eight of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles. You're Okay, I'm going to take it two ways. Okay, I'll take the Nine of Pentacles first. So it seems like in this energy, you're trying to harvest the fruits of your labor, or you're wanting to. But at the same time, with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, someone is all over the place with their, their attention. This Page of Wands energy suggests that you know, you're being non-committal. Again, not expressing your needs. I'd look at the Oracle card again, not expressing your needs because the Page of Wands indicates you're being non-committal. Um, you're kind of flighty. You're kind of doing your own thing. Um, I also get the feeling that there are things you want to commit to and there is something you want to say, but you just haven't said it, Gemini. Let me clarify this, um, this energy. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles upright, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe there's somebody in your energy that has been flighty. So it's either you or somebody else that has been really flighty. You want a commitment with somebody, and they're kind of bouncing all over the place. Make sure the cards, okay, the cards seem to be in reverse. Okay, so the Empress is in reverse. So you're not exercising your true authority here, Gemini. I feel like you are full of ideas and you would want unity with something, but you're being overly protective of what you say, how you feel, um, your, emo your emotions perhaps, or maybe you're emotionally shutting down, um, being very materialistic in this matter. Like I said, it could be you or somebody in your energy. With this high priestess energy, um, this person is, is keeping secrets. This person is holding on to whatever they want to say. And the high priestess, the high priestess is a logical and um, emotional person. It's highly Pisces energy. That's what represents Pisces. But this high priestess in this um, spread is being um, is meditating, seeking time, seeking time by themselves, looking within. Um, trying to follow your instincts in regards to the situation. Uh, maybe you feel like it's not the right time to talk about this. <clears throat> Somebody feels like it's not the right time to talk to you about it. Again, another eight of wands in reverse. So the communication is slowed down. Travel has slowed down. Even seeing each other may have slowed down with you and your person or this person or this energy. Let's get into what has influenced all this. I'll make sure the cards are upright. Okay, so the influence behind all this is balance. Temperance is a major arcana card. So maybe somebody's trying to keep the peace, trying to keep their balance. They don't want to shake the, they don't want to shake or rock the boat too much. Oh, also, the hermit card is here. The her again, introspection, being alone, being by yourself, being isolated, trying to figure out what this connection is really about maybe. Two major iconic cards on top of each other. Let's do clarify the hermit. What is this hermit thinking? This hermit wants balance. This hermit wants peace. They just want to do their own thing because they're looking for something specific, but they're not saying it. Let me see. OK. 
Okay. This hermit is thinking Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this Knight of Pentacles in reverse is on this hermit's mind. And it's really just this person being all over the place again. Sorry, <laughs> my alarm went off. <laughs> um, so either this Knight of Pentacles could be taking harmful shortcuts, um, just solely focused on money. It's like, you know, I've really tried in relationships, but I'm just going to focus on my money um, because this relationship isn't going anywhere. This connection isn't going anywhere. Okay, so what is it that Gemini doesn't see? What is it that Gemini is not seeing? What is it that Gemini is not seeing? Oh, there was two that came out. The two of swords first came out. You're not seeing that. You're probably bored in this situation, or either you're not revealing it. Like maybe you're kind of sticking around, hoping it will be get, hoping this will get better. But really, this relationship will leave you bored. If this person is doing this right now, then this is how this person communicates, and this might not be a good match for you. Um, you're not seeing that. It could be the other person that's at a crossroads. Um, it could be a difficult time to have a relationship with this person because they're not ready. They're not really interested. Seven of Pentacles. So you're not seeing that you could be focused on um, more. Like the Seven of Pentacles energy is somebody focusing on what they don't have with a person rather than focusing on what they have. And I feel like in this position, in this energy, you're the opposite. Like you're not seeing that you need to take a pause and focus on what you don't have with this person and continue your journey without this person, if that's, you know, necessary. Because you're not talking about it at all, but you need to get it out. You need to um, actually confirm how you feel to this person and don't let them let them potentially walk don't let the fact that they may potentially walk away stop you from saying how you feel let me get one more card of the seven of pentacles this, this i feel like this um two of swords is saying two of swords with the seven of pentacles is saying that like look you need to make a decision you're not seeing that you need to make a decision what you need to know is you need to make a decision you need to stop waiting around this person is not giving you what you want you need to go ahead and move on this five of cups is you're not seeing that you're not letting go maybe this person is jaded and callous and you're still holding on to them once again so what is the um, advice here for Gemini nine of wands okay so nine of wands suggests that okay probably yeah you should move on so the advice here is to be determined and resilient, to push through. Um, this situation might be difficult to move away from, but it seems like to release toxic energy, this is where you need to start, is by moving away from this person. Let me get one more card for Gemini. Okay, two more came out. Page of Swords and Ten of Swords. So the Page of Swords is the person that actually is um, needs to be more curious and uh, thirst for transforming and transitioning to something else um, be more intellectual in your pursuit and to re to heal to resolve this ten of swords that may apparently happen it's time to heal for you it's time for you to heal Gemini now let's see if there's any other messages for Gemini self-worth so Gemini you haven't really reflected on your self-worth self-worth old infective habits of settling now begin to surface rather than harsh judgment towards yourself we apply compassion and understand understanding acknowledge that all events are divinely a part of the awakening the awakening process a continuance of this gentle behavior pattern toward the self will reinforce self-love and strength strengthen the eff efficacy toward the self so you're not seeing that habits of settling has caused you to really shut down and not awaken your self-worth you've been settling and that's pretty much what the message said Gemini that's why you're not talking because you're settling that's what I have for you